Okay, this video is uh, specifically to outline how to do optimizing on a category, a category page optimization in Volusion. Uh, if we have a page such as this, co uh, Gourmet Coffee, and if we decide that that is the key phrase we want to use because we've done our research and uh, in our list of phrases we, we find Gourmet Coffee uh, is you know, the one we want to target. So here we have Gourmet Flavored Coffee has 90 searches a month with an 85 all in title. That's extremely low, so that would be a good long tail phrase to use, Gourmet Flavored Coffee. Um, gourmet Coffee Makers, uh, let's see, Gourmet Coffees, uh, Gourmet, and that actually would be good, except that's really high competition. Gourmet Coffee Machines, Gourmet Coffee, very high competition uh, there. Gourmet Coffee Makers, Gourmet Coffee Brands, um, that might be good. Uh, so we could do Gourmet Flavored Coffee Brands in there if that uh, all in title is correct and we want to verify that. So we'll go do a, a search for all in title with that key phrase. And if you've got uh, a phrase that has some decent search, uh, results and your all in title looks uh, a little low, then double check it. So this all in title is about 358, not 63. So that was off. So I, I would uh, suggest double checking all the other uh, uh, all in title to make sure that they are correct. Uh, when you see 1,300 searchable or searches per month and only one on all in title, that's, there's no way that's right. That's, that's got to be corrected. So um, low numbers uh, on all in title when you've got high numbers on search indicate there's probably an error with that. So if we take that one over here and just double check it, we can see, yeah, see that's 12,300, not one. So there was definitely an error in that, uh, and so that's got to be corrected. So um, an easy way to make sure that our all in title is correct is uh, come uh, uh, up here and make some uh, some different, uh, put in some formulas. So we could do uh, a formula, for example, like this. We put uh, all in title, colon, space, quote. And then over here, we put uh, an end quote. And basically, just uh, we're going to copy that down right here and so if we run that down um, the page actually before we do that we need to do the formula so um, put that in there put that in there and then the formula is equal uh, equals Concatenate, and it, as you start spelling it, C-O-N-C-A-T-E, it'll pull up right here, and you can click on it, and that assigns the formula. And then it's asking you for the details, and we just click on the cells. So we want to concatenate this cell, and then put a comma, and then this cell, the keyword, and then a comma, and then our final cell over here, and then close our parentheses. So your code will look like that, E2, comma, A2, comma, G2, in parentheses, press enter. And that will now combine, that's what concatenate means, it will combine all of that so that we get the right code. And so now we can copy all of these down on our spreadsheet and we'll end up with the correct uh, search every time as long as we don't delete anything. You don't want to delete these rows. So to help with that, we can just hide that column, hide this column. And so now all we have to do to get our all in title search results is click on this and, and copy that and paste it into Google. And that will give us the correct all in title number to put in here. So that's a, a good way to, to do the all in title. So, so we know that we weren't quite uh, correct on that. Uh, so if we do this again, we've got Gourmet Coffee Brands uh, is not bad. Um, so Gourmet Coffee Brands is something that we would want to use. Uh, 
gourmet flavored coffee. So gourmet flavored coffee brands um, would be a, a good keyword to use over there on our page. So we come here and say gourmet flavored coffee brands. Uh, that would be, now actually that's what we want to put in our uh, uh, meta information. It's not necessarily what we want to do for our category name because for the category we want to simplify it. So gourmet coffee is probably good for the category, but when we come down here under advanced info, we're going to click on search engine optimization. And for the URL text, we're going to put gourmet flavored coffee brands. And we will uh, make that all lowercase. But we'll have it uppercase or capitalized uh, each word, first letter, um, for the meta tag title there. And then put in our domain name to help uh, brand. And then gourmet flavored coffee brands that will delight your taste buds. Correct that, of course. No, no. Taste buds. And entertain company something like that for meta tag description so the most important for our uh, optimization is this and this here now we also want to have this uh, um, keyword in our description in our category descriptions area so we'll save what we've done there and then uh, we'll go in and optimize uh, our content so you want to put some original wording uh, that you have written or had uh, somebody write uh, and uh, something that is original content. We'll put that down in here. So here we've got a header tag. So we want our header tag in there. Now that's pretty big. We probably don't need that that big, but to do a header tag you'll put some keywords in there and then click on this little link right here for formatting and, and go to header. And then if we want that to be smaller, we just come over here to this icon, this is our text size icon, and we could make that maybe just 20 or 24 there. 24 is pretty good. And then uh, we'd want to um, enter down, enter down before that usually so that, uh, there we go. So if we want to, to put text in there, um, we can come in and say, uh, um, find the best, uh, um, Gourmet flavored coffee in your favorite brand here. Um, we offer many great gourmet flavors, and then you you just keep typing, uh, you know, and, and create the the content that you want. You should have about 200 to 300 uh, words total on the page to really uh, help optimize that page. And throughout that content, you want that gourmet flavored uh, coffee brands to show up at least a couple of times. Uh, uh, you could have it up to four or five times if you have 300 keywords there. But you, you don't want to be too much uh, uh, there, probably not more than two, maybe three at the most per 100 words on the page. So don't force it in there. We want it natural. It's okay if it's only in there once or twice per hundred words, um, but we want that in the, the content of our page. So uh, with our, uh, just to review, with our optimizing a category page, the category URL text will have our primary key phrase in there. It should not be too long, but this is a good long tail keyword phrase. Four or five words is great. Um, we've got the same four-word keyword phrase down here in our meta uh, title, um, and then we've got it in our description, and then uh, uh, we also put it in our description over here as a header, an H1 tag, 
and in the content of uh, the page. So uh, that way we've got it throughout the, the page. If we add a image to the page, we would want to make it an image, uh, an alt tag to the image as well. Uh, but uh, we just want to make sure that that keyword is shown in those different areas throughout the page so that it's very clear to the search engines what this page is about. The category name does not have to use the long tail necessarily. Category names need to be pretty simple, short, because that's what shows on the uh, on the website and we want that uh, we don't want that to be too cluttered. So if we look at the website here, coffee makers, gourmet coffee, we don't want to put gourmet flavored coffee brands up here because that's going to be just too big, too long. We want to simple, uh, make it simple, simplify the uh, the keyword there. Uh, we may add uh, other categories down the road and build out our website to have other keywords used in category pages later on, but. Uh, uh, each one of those should be optimized again the same kind of uh, way that we've just shown you here.